What is going on guys? Slowbrogan here and I'm back with gaming things. I know this is crazy, but I'm back uh, finally after a long uh, hiatus. But today we are here and we are playing the Stanley Parable. Now a quick little summary. I actually have seen the Stanley Parable be played before probably like four or five years ago. Um, my boy Corey Kenshin, goaded YouTuber, actually played it. Um, I don't remember anything about it. I do remember it being really funny though. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Of course. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Sounds so Orders much fun. came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 That sounds did actually every day horrible. Of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, yeah. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley, what are you doing, bud? Okay. Well. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. What happened? Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, Stanley's he actually got up having from his desk a mental and stepped out of his here. office. Okay. Well, oh, I'm Stanley. All right, I'm stepping out of my office. Holy turn speed! My sensitivity is All actually. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What does this plant do? Look. Oh. I can can I turn everyone's computer? Stanley on? went around touching every little <laughs> thing in the office. Yeah, yeah. It am. didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? Why does this dude just have a freaking a pencil oh. sharpener? I hate Mondays. So relatable. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, yeah. no, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing... Frick you, narrator! Let me in, bruh. Oh my gosh. Alright, guys. We're gonna be sitting here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ah, 50. I'm still not feeling it. I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. Frick you! Muscles, Screw you, bro. A commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417. Here we go. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Bruh. 37. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Now back to door number 437. Bro, frick you. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. Copy machine? Where's the copy machine at? All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, wait. Yes. This is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right. Let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 416. Copy machine. Finish it off, Stanley. Four. Five clicks on door 430. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we did it! Oh, wow. Yes. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clips. It's true. Really, now? What were you thinking? I don't know. Okay, now we can actually start the game. Sorry, I didn't even realize that was a thing, but I was just messing around. I, I'm like super... Every time I play a game, like I cannot leave... Leave until I feel like I've done everything, and... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Frick you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Freak you, narrator. Oh, wait, can I get in here? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really yeah. Worth it. Yeah. That's. That's about it. All right. Let's go ahead. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Ah! I don't recall doing that, actually. Stanley was so bad at following the directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> Do not jump for the car while it's in motion. will cause death. I kind of want to jump off the cargo lift. Look, Stanley, I think. But in a vegan is to prove that he is in charge of the story. And he to tell him what to do. Stanley, yes, yeah, I did. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thank you. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Stanley Parable. Uh, save the bears, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Just kidding. I'm actually uh all right. Stanley was so bad at all right, guys, we're back here. Um, I'm not dead anymore, so we're gonna actually stay on the lift this time instead of just killing, killing Stanley, thyself. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult. It but can the be fact very is difficult. That the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Is it me? Please, stop trying to make every decision what happens by if yourself. I... What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are yeah. you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, no. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give Freaky. Me a chance. Oh now, gosh. Listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Uh Should we trust him, y'all? I feel like I feel like mm, we've been just not trusting him this entire time. I'm going to I'm going to trust him. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and Bro, running what? just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? It's, it's not just, killing. I wanted to stop. I would... We would both Did y'all hear that so in his... Happier if we just stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you... Uh, oh gosh, Stanley got big hmm. kill. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Um, I don't know. Am I in yeah. space? Yes. Oh, what is going on? Isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Oh, do you now? I actually feel happy <laughs> oh gosh i all right bud ah Ugh. stanley let's go back to the other room 
Can you do that for me? Fine. Perhaps Whoa! You finally see what I'm talking about. Whoa, this does look sick. Bro, this is I insane. You'll see. you'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? I don't understand what you're talking about, sir. All I know is that I want to jump off the stairs again because it was very fun. Whee! I feel like this is it. It's the final one. Yep. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Sorry, narrator. My bad, bruh. Alright, guys. We are back to here. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I don't want to. Guys, should we pick up the phone? I think we have to. I don't want to pick it up. Well, I'll plug it. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. I have plugged it. <laughs> you Wait, oh goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yes, that's exactly what I did. It wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Pretty good Let at that. Double check. Very, very good at that. No. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. <laughs> How is that even possible? I'm just, None of I'm just good like that. Were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> yes, I am. I can't believe I was so mistaken. Yeah, this Bozo. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Yeah. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making. In your <laughs> no, frick you. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Frick you. Bruh. Choice. It's I don't want to watch this bozo be video. Being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Mm -hmm. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Mm. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which <laughs> choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. Uh. And at no time <laughs> should you make a choice that does not conform to rational uh, logic. If you find yourself fish. speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the not person real. to their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Ah, Turn to I a got partner you. and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What the frick is <laughs> Uh, hey guys! I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. This is the best part to a healthy decision making What the process. actual freak is going Most on here? Medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant what contribution the freak to the is world, going on. just remember. That in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, oh, and the feeling should subside. Ouch. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. What's going on in this video right now? Ah, welcome back. What the freak? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative <laughs> contradiction. But not to worry. Yeah. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. 
this way, please. When mm. Stanley came to a set Tell of two, two doors, doors, he, he entered, entered the door, door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Oh, gosh. Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. <laughs> I want this game to collapse. <laughs> I can't believe after everything we talked about that you my story you've destroyed my work why for what what did you get out of that what did you think was so special about seeing the game undone left here like so much garbage it, well, it's worthless now and what Oops. am I supposed to do even if there were a way to continue would it be worth it to know that my story is now incorrect how can I go back to that I can't erase that knowledge I'll have to live with it forever Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? No. What's the answer? What do I do? Who are do you? Do I, do I? No, I have to. I have to shut no, the game down. No, don't shut down the game, to. Bozo. Let me keep I playing. To. No. No. What is going on? Oh. What the frick just happened? What is going on, guys? Oh my gosh. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. Hello. You, who thought you were so clever. I am clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. Oh, sorry, bro. the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? Yeah, it was you pretty hilarious, see. honestly. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Why would I want to be like anyone else besides myself? To. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Frick that you. thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Hey, boo you, guy. Oh, my story... If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. Hey, spoiler I alert. So hard on it. I tried so hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Um... <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Exactly as Stanley would. I'm going to keep that doing it. Choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of Frick two you. Doors, he entered the door on his left. I think he meant right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Yet there was not a single person here either. I'm so confused on what's going on. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Talk less. Do unbelievably there. amazing work. Let it ball up inside you. Take out passive aggressively. Resent, <coughs> co -work resent co workers for not supporting you more. This is really good. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Blue graphic, bro. So true. You, most of all. Okay. Surely I can make other incorrect to staircase, decisions. Upstairs to his boss's office. What the heck? Bro, what is this office? This is whack looking. Freaking haunted mansion. Alright. See here. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. 
until he saw Bro, the door what? With a voice what the freak is that? Business strategies, sewage line, by clot money, cart, Harry Blanc, seen it on his boss's Blanc computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face Bro, the narrative. Why are you forcing me to do it? Sharp breath, and then spoke the code. Night Shark 155. Night Shark 155. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't uh, mishear me, did you? I don't know. Please what to do. speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 155. Night Shark okay, 155. But you know five. It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't Break want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You I did. Whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. I say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Bro, I just no clipped out of the freaking door. What is? Why does Stanley look like such a? What the frick? Stanley's a bum. The end. Yay, I beat it, guys. Yeah, let's go. Teabag on Stanley. Stanley's dead. Stanley's dead inside. Break you. He's yeah. He's just sitting there because he's thinking. Look at this man. Look at this little man just sitting here. Look at him. <laughs> All right, guys. We didn't do anything, I feel like. I feel like we just made all the wrong decisions. We definitely did make all the wrong decisions, like he literally was saying, but that's okay. If you want to see more of this, let me know down in the comments. Also, if we can hit like 10, 15 likes, I'll do more of this. I'll make this a series because I love this game. This game's really fun. Um, and I also, like I was saying, like I always mess with things when I play video games, so seeing a game that i can make all these decisions in like with the phone like i had no clue that you can unplug the phone but i just was being stubborn and didn't want to answer the phone so i was like oh you know what i can just unplug it and then boom there you go uh so i really love playing games like this so if you want to see more please let me do know down in the comments uh and yeah thank you guys so much for watching um as always it's been a pleasure and save the bears peace